in this video, I'm going to show you a super simple way to plan both your days and weeks using Notion. So let's get into it. Right, so if you're watching this, you're probably like me, you like to be productive and get shit done. But to be productive, you need to know what you have to do and when you have to do it. So of course, you need to plan your weeks and then you need to plan each day in that week. And there are hundreds of techniques to do it. I personally have tried pretty much every technique to plan your days and weeks out there. And one of my favorites is actually using pen and paper just like this, which if you want to see how I plan my days and weeks using pen and paper, let me know in the comments below. However, one of my other favorite ways is using this Notion system, which I'm about to show you in this video. And one of the main reasons I love it is because of how versatile, how clear, how simple, and how easily changeable it is and customizable it is. So anyway, let me help you become more productive and show you how to actually build this thing. So feel free to open up another tab or do whatever you have to do to follow along. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first off, you obviously have to open up Notion and then you have to choose where you're going to build your schedule. For the purposes of this video, this tutorial, I will be making the schedule in its own page. So obviously I'm going to have to start by naming the page. So let's name it a uh, schedule, pretty obvious. And then one of the things I like to do on each page is click these three dots up here and select full width so that the content of the page takes up the full page and not just a central column. Next, we want to click here type slash and then type in inline database and we want to choose an inline database and then with an inline database you can name it here schedule or whatever you want to call it i don't like to do that i like to click these three dots select hide database and make it a bit tidier next we actually need to make our column so let's first one let's name it task the second column let's change the property to type date and then let's rename it to date. Then we can click this plus button. We can click type and then we can choose checkbox and we can rename it to, oh, didn't let me rename it. We can rename it to complete. That is what you need to have for your schedule. You need to have the task that you need to do. You need to have the date as to when you're doing it and you need a completion section to mark off if you have completed it. Now, if you want, you can also add another section. So if we click this plus button, we choose type, we choose multi-select, we rename it to priority. We can then click edit property, add an option, and then we can label the priority of the task. So for example, we can have high priority, we can have medium priority, you can have low priority, or you can have it whatever way you want it you don't necessarily need this for your schedule but you can have it if you want to i'm actually just going to remove it because we don't need it and it doesn't really affect the rest of what we're going to do now with this inline database you can have multiple views so we are in the original table view but if we actually click table we can click edit view click layout and then we can choose multiple views so we can choose board timeline calendar list gallery. For the purposes of this schedule, I like to stick with this first inline database as a table. So we keep that there. Simple. However, if you want to change it to a list view or something like that, that's fine. The next thing we want to do is go up here and click this plus and then we can type in slash linked view of database. Now, what we have to do is actually choose the right database, which for us, luckily it comes up first schedule. We want to choose the database that we just created so for us obviously it's schedule let's click it and what it will do is literally just duplicate this database but because it's a linked view it means if you alter one it will alter the other as well now for the purposes of this schedule what we will then do is click table edit view layout and choose timeline and you will then notice up here it is selected a month so we literally have a timeline view of the month now we can also change this timeline view to week so we can see each day of the week we can also change it to day so we can see each hour of the day now i'm actually going to add in some tasks to show you this properly so let me do that and i'll be right back so i have added in two tasks to the original table view walk the dog and we're going to do that 30th of august 2022 now in this date section you can also add a time if you click include time so if we remove that so if we click this include time button down here we can then choose a time up here which we want to do it on and then we also have client work which is on the 31st of august at 11 a.m however you can then see down here on the timeline view which we have set on the week you can see each day of the week and the tasks that we have to do on that day of the week and you can see on the 30th of august we have to walk the dog and on the 31st we have client work now we go into day 
If we scroll to the 30th of August tomorrow, you can see at 12 p.m. we have to walk the dog. And if we go to the 31st, you can see at 11 a.m. we have to do client work, which coincides with our original table view data. Now, let me actually add in another task and I'll actually walk you through this. So let's say we had a call to do. So let's type in call. And let's say we had to do it on the 30th and then we can click input time and we had to do it and the call was at 2 p.m. We can type in 2 p.m. Now we've added in there and you can see it comes up on the timeline view on Tuesday at the 30th. And then if we go back to the day view, you can see the exact time on that day that we have to do it. So also if we go up to the original table view, we can actually sort this for date and we can go ascending and it will show us the tasks in order of what is the next task. We can then also add a filter, which is completion. So we can say completion is unchecked. So it will show all the tasks that are not checked. So that tasks that are not completed. But if we had walked the dog, we can click complete and it will disappear. However, you will notice that it does not disappear on the timeline view. That is simply because we do not have the filter applied on the timeline view. So we go to filter. So we click filter, we click completed and we go completed is unchecked. It will disappear. Now, if we want to see tasks that we have completed, we can simply click the filter and then instead of completion is unchecked, we can say completion is checked and it will show us tasks we have completed. What you can do here is you can actually have two of these linked database views. So if we go in and we go another link view of database and we go schedule, choose the right one and then click edit view, layout and timeline again. We can actually have two timelines, one which shows us our week and one which shows us our day. Or of course you can click plus here, schedule, timeline, and then day on that there if you want them on the same view. It is really you, up to you how you lay this part out yourself. But either way, I like to have two separate views, so I don't like to have them in the same database. I like to have two separate views, one which shows me the week, like this top one, and one which shows me the day, like this bottom one. So essentially, how you could actually go about and plan your weeks and days using this schedule is that you go up to your original table view up here and on every Sunday, you can plan in what tasks, what appointments, what calls you have throughout this coming week. And you can simply go in here and say call. And I know I have to do a call on Thursday at whatever time at 10 a.m. And you schedule it in simple, right? And then you can look down on your weekly timeline you can see what you have to do on each day of the week. If you actually want to plan your days, you can go in the night before each day. So for example, on Monday night, you could go and plan your Tuesday by going into your original table view at the top and typing in your tasks. So for example, I could do edit YouTube video, which would be this YouTube video. So hello, and select the date and go Tuesday and a time I want to do that at 10 a.m. Then obviously my first timeline view will, is my week view. So it shows me what I have to do on each day of the week. You can see edit YouTube video. But if I then go down to my day timeline view, I can click up here, go to tomorrow, and I can see what I have to do tomorrow. For example, edit YouTube video and call. Simple. Essentially what you do is you can add your tasks into the top original table view and choose the date and the time that you want them done at. And you can of course then plan your weeks and plan your days in that way. You can then have two timeline views, one which shows you your week, one which shows you your day. Or of course, if you want, you can have one timeline view and just change the view up here, but I prefer to have two separate ones. And that is literally how you can plan your days and weeks in Notion. Like I said, simple, but it's powerful. So yeah, try it out. Whether you want to copy the exact way I've done it or you want to just take inspiration from it, it's obviously up to you. Customize it until your heart is content. If you find any value in this video, you will love this video right here on how I stay productive with a simple Notion productivity system. And don't forget to click subscribe if you want to see any future content. Ross out.